Hey everybody, Peach here, and today we are gonna take the leap into welding. Now I've wanted to learn how to weld for many years now because while we can make a lot of cool stuff out of wood, certain things really require metal and welding, okay? It's the only option for a certain thing. So the only problem is, is I know nothing about welding and I've never done it, not even once. But that's not gonna stop us. We're gonna learn by doing. So today the sparks will be flying and if I die, I've given my wife instructions to finish editing the video and upload it to YouTube. So stick around to see what happens. And hopefully you can take the leap with me if you've never welded either. And this will be the year that both of us learn to weld. All right, let's weld. But before I do, let me show you what I'm welding with. Now, just a reminder, I've never welded before. Today is day one, okay? So if I do misspeak, please correct me down in the comments below. Okay, so this is the unit, okay? You have your voltage here, amp setting here. You have the type of welding you're gonna do here. You push the button and select MMA if you're doing stick welding, MIG 0.8 millimeter if you're doing a flux core with 0.8 millimeter wire, and then MIG 1.0 millimeter wire, and then finally TIG welding, okay? And speaking of, flux core MIG welding, this is the gun, okay? It comes attached to the unit. And it comes with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle that you can, of course, swap out with a 1.0 millimeter wire. And it comes with a 0.8 millimeter wheel right here to feed the wire, okay? And of course, you'll put your spool of wire right here, okay? Now let's look at what else comes in the box. So again, it does stick welding, and here's the stinger to do stick welding, okay? And here is the ground clamp, okay? Nice copper inside, beautiful, beautiful, okay? It comes with a user manual, but it's not all that helpful. Um, and it does come, again, with that TIG torch, okay? This is the TIG torch that comes with the appropriate uh, nozzles here on that TIG torch. But to do TIG welding, you need a tank of shielding gas, which I don't have. So today we're not gonna be doing any TIG welding, we're just gonna do stick welding and flux core welding, okay? It also comes with a little slag hammer brush combo. And here's the wire it comes with. Now they did make a mistake. Again, the thing comes with it, the little wheel and the nozzle is 0.8 millimeter but this is 1.0 millimeter wire that it came with. So I need 0.8 millimeter wire, which I did go buy. Alternatively, you could just go buy the new nozzle and the little wheel. So if you do get a mismatch sent to you, reach out to Vivor and see what they can do, okay? And then lastly, it comes with these guys, okay? So welding goggles, I guess, but I don't trust my peepers to these, so I did reach out to Vivor and said, got anything else? So they did send me this for free as well. It is the Vivor Auto Darkening Welding Helmet. So you can do grinding with this, you can do welding with this. It's got uh, digital controls right here, it's solar powered. And all you do is you put your head in here and you twist this to tighten or loosen it, like so. Last thing I want to mention is I'm going to be using the Vivor welding blanket because over here along this wall, I got all kinds of lumber and dust, dust bunnies. And if one spark gets on that thing, the whole house will blow up. So I recommend using a welding blanket if you're doing this anywhere near anything flammable. So I'm going to set that up and we'll start welding. All right, moment of truth, here we go. First time stick welding ever. Okay, and we are using 6013 electrodes. So I have the ground hooked up to the positive. If I don't get a good arc, I'm gonna switch that, reverse the polarity. But for right now, I got it hooked up to the positive side. Okay, we got the stinger. 
I already got the electrode on there. I'm going to plug this in and we're going to turn it on. So the on off switch is in the back here. Here we go. All right, I'm not getting a really good arc there. So we're going to crank it up a bit. Not working too well. Let's crank it up even more. Okay, let's keep going. 105. There we go. Okay, now we got something. All right. I mean, it looks like crap, but that's because I don't know what I'm doing. I did get a bead going. I'm going to turn it up even more. Let's go all the way up, 130. Okay, we got a good bead there. So I'm going to turn this off. Okay, so this is where I started. You can see there's just a little slag everywhere. This is where I started getting a kind of a consistent uh, arc. And then here is where I got my last you know, good arc. Okay, I know it looks like crap, but you know, again, this is my first time ever. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bump it up now. We are going to build something, okay? We're gonna make some band pegs for our power rack. So what I did here, I already have a video, so you can watch it right up there where I did this, but I ground down using the Vivor uh, variable speed bench grinder. I've ground this down so it would fit in the holes of my power rack, okay? Now this end, okay, this cap was really just there to keep this on, okay? A washer, okay? But the washer obviously goes up and down. So I wanna fix that. So I'm gonna weld the washer to this so that we have a better band peg, okay? Also, this threading will eventually wear out the bands, okay? So, because they're kind of sharp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld some washers to the end here to kind of cover up all that threading and we'll have a much better band peg. So we're gonna do this with stick welding and flux core. So again, we're doing stick welding first. Let's do that. Okay, look at how ugly that is, but will it hold? Yeah, it'll hold. Ooh, it's hot, still hot, okay? So that's why we get the good gloves, okay? So yeah, it's on there. So it's ugly and I can grind that down more, but hey, it worked. All right, now let's try flux core welding. Well, that's way easier. Let me rotate this over. Okay, we're gonna crank it up a little bit. Do what this does. We're gonna go up to 95. That should do it. All right, let's take these guys for a spin. Now, full disclosure, I did take these over to the Vivor Bench Grinder, okay, to get the extra slag and uneven slag off these, okay, so it's smooth now. So, let's put these on the rack. So to do so, so to do so, I'm gonna grab some caps, put these on the rack, and exercise.
All right, the Vivor MIG 133 in one welder, a great addition to any DIY gym. Now to purchase any of the products that we cover today, please consider purchasing those products via the shopping links down in the video description below. Shopping via these links costs you nothing extra and it helps support the channel. All right, that does it for this episode and I look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to be alerted the moment the next episode drops.